Hello and welcome to the tutorial on building structures with SCM's band program. Now this program has a number of common structures already in its database. Here we have sodium chloride. You can just pull that up. And here you have the structure of simple rock salt. And if you're going to make any structures similar to this for your modeling purposes, one of the simplest things to do is just to start with a comparable structure and make the adjustments. Here we're changing sodium chloride into lithium fluoride. And you can see the lattice parameters and the coordinates changing accord accordingly. And you can modify those at your discretion. Here's a more complicated one. This is rutile. There are more parameters for it, of course, being a less symmetrical structure. But there it is, and we can change all of those as well. And if you happen to know the space group of your structure, if you just know the number or the name of the space group, you can type that in and generate a structure within that framework. Here we're going to do space group number 136, and we know the parameters for titanium dioxide in this space group, so we're just going to input them here. And apply. And the structure comes up on the screen there. And you can make changes later if you wish. Now band can also be used to model surfaces and often a good way to make a surface is just to take a slice of a three-dimensional solid. Here we have copper from the database and we're going to use the slice tool to cut a plane, actually three planes, of the copper 111 surface out of this bulk copper. And there you can see the surface generated, the three planes. We can make the cell bigger if we want. We can generate a supercell, and that's what we're doing here. And if you have a hard time seeing what cell is actually repeating, we can toggle on and off the repeat cell down at the bottom. So that's all for this one. Thanks for watching.